Hi, I'm Grace Para, and welcome to my Pilates studio. All right, we are doing a reformer workout today. We're gonna be real thorough with details and instructions on how to get in and out of exercises. So it's it's kind of basic in terms of trying to give you a real strong foundation of how to use your equipment. Okay, I'm on a bounce body Allegro 2 reformer today. I'm translating for a Graz reformer. Okay, we start with the foot bar up. Now, this workout today is done for a tall man, all right? So we're gonna put the reformer in second gear. So in the Graz reformer, you're gonna take out all of your springs. You're gonna take the springs bar, move it forward or away from the foot bar, one notch. You gotta get your wooden blocks and you put them right on the side of the, the, the frame. And so it, it blocks, it stops the carriage from slamming all the way closed, all right? Or, you know, so the springs flop off. Put the springs back on, you're good to go. We're gonna start with your hip stretch, okay? So in second gear, we're gonna be on actually one spring, all right? So for this, we're on one spring, foot bar is up. Your right foot, your outside foot is gonna come right next to the leg of the reformer. Your left foot comes right in front of the shoulder block, drop the knee down, place the hands in front of the foot bar, lift your chest, Hold here for a moment, take a breath, right knee directly over the ankle, chest is lifted. Try to find the stretch in your back and the front of the left hip and thigh. Taking a breath here. And then close the carriage all the way in. Walk around the other side. Left foot to the outside leg of the reformer. Right foot, inside foot to the shoulder block. Drop the knee as you press the carriage out. Hands about shoulder width apart on the foot bar, lifting the chest. Front knee is right over the ankle. Staying here, taking a breath. You can do this a couple times, or just close the carriage, and we're gonna do foot work. All right, so in second gear, we're gonna add all four springs. Our foot bar is up. Make sure that the headrest is up. That little wooden lever underneath, you wanna just flip it up, and headrest is there. Straps are on the hooks. Okay, we're gonna lie down on the reformer, head in the headrest, toes on the foot bar. Let's start with feet in Pilates stance. You wanna feel this drop in the chin so the back of the neck is long, the collarbone wide, arms down. Now, energize the palms, press the palms into the mat so you're kind of, the arms are purposeful, shoulders are back. Feet in Pilates stance, heels together, toes apart, press the carriage out, full extension, and then close all the way back in. When you do this, the heels stay connected the whole time. You want to really be mindful of the length in your spine. Keep the springs moving. It's not a fast exercise, but as you press out, you want to already be thinking about the control to come in, and then already be thinking to press out, and then already be thinking to come in. So it's really continuous. It keeps nice and smooth. Extend through the legs, full extension, bend all the way back in. Breathing with an inhale to extend, exhale to bend, or you can reverse, you can exhale to extend, inhale as you bend, just keep breathing. Be mindful of your heels. Don't let your heels move. They stay in one spot, so don't drop the heels as you press out and lift the heels and vice versa. Keep your heels in one spot as you press out and in. It's actually harder, harder than you think it would be. Let's do one more here, and then close the carriage. We're going to the next foot position, legs and feet together, arches on the foot bar. We're going to think toes curl over the foot bar, heels press under the foot bar, neck long, arms long, core engaged, press and extend, bend and come in. Press to extend, bend and pull in. Think of that continuous movement of the springs. Try to keep that energy really consistent. I don't want to see out, stop, in, stop, out. It's continuously out and in. It's almost like you're on a circular track. Where's your posture? Think of the length in your neck. I gotta do it too. Collarbone wide. Arms are very intentional. They're really kind of pressing into the reformer. Navel to your spine. Extending through the legs and bending back in. Two more. Feel the pressure of the foot bar in the bottoms of your feet. It's good for you. Last time, go onto the heels. Flex the toes back. Legs are still together. Pull those toes back. Press the carriage out and in. Full, continuous 
Motion of the springs as you extend and bend. Think navel to spine. Chin down, neck long. We've got to always think about it. Collarbone wide, shoulders pull back. Continue breathing. Inhale to extend. Exhale to bend in or vice versa. Whatever feels best, just don't pass out. Do three more. Two more. One more. Close the carriage. Go onto your toes in a parallel position. Let's go to parallel, hip width apart. Make sure all 10 toes are on the foot bar so you can really feel them. Press the carriage out and hold. You're gonna do 10 minutes stretch here. Slowly lower the heels down for three counts. One, two, three. Lower the heels up for three counts. One, two, three. Lower for one, two, three, and lift. Two, three, and lower. Two, three, and lift. Two, three, keep the rhythm, and lift. Find your posture, neck long, collarbone wide, navel to spine, arms are intentional. Now, think about your feet. You want the bottoms of your feet working, you want the ankles working, feel your calves stretching and flexing. Three more, two, three, and lift, two, three, two more, lower, two, three, and lift, two, three, one more, lower, two, three, and lift, two, three, hold the lift, bend your knees, and close the carriage. Okay, now, we're gonna get ready for the 100. On the Bratz Reformer, to prepare for this, you're going to take your left foot, you're gonna hook it underneath the foot bar. Your right foot is gonna go and grab the bottom lever. As you pick the foot bar up with your top foot, your bottom foot is gonna catch the lever and you're gonna rest the foot bar down. I can't do that. I'm just gonna come up to sitting and drop my foot bar. Now, I have to drop my springs because of my reformer. When I drop the reformer, you're gonna stay all four springs. Once you lay down, grab the hip. You just bend your knees and towards your chest. Scoop down from the shoulder blades about an inch. You want an inch of space there? Reach back, grab the handles. Put the handles in your hands. Extend your arms straight up to the ceiling. Feel the width of your collarbone, neck is long. Five times, we're gonna do a prep here. You're gonna curl the head up as you press your arms down and extend your legs to your working level. And then you're gonna reverse. Bend your knees in, head comes down, arms come back up. We're gonna do it four more times. I want you to feel the connection of the arm springs into your abdominals. It's the abdominals that are pulling the springs forward and then controlling the release of the springs. You got one more here like this. Abdominals press forward and then controlling the release. I gotta scoop down again a little bit. You might need to too. Now we're gonna do the 100. Okay, so you prep the same way. Head curls up, arms come down, legs extend, hold. Small pumps of the arm up and down. Upper body stays still. We inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, three. And exhale, two. We do it 10 breaths like this. This is four, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, five, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, two, three, four, five. And exhale. Keep going. If the neck gets fatigued, you can just rest your head down. Otherwise, you just keep it up. Keep your legs at a working level so you challenge your core, but your back doesn't start to arch. Two more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. One more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold it. And then bend your knees in. Rest your head down. Arms come back up to the ceiling. Take a breath. Take an inhale. And exhale. And we're going to go into this series of five using the arm springs, okay? You're gonna curl the head up as you press your arms down to the sides. Keep your knees bent in towards your chest and then begin to extend one leg out, one leg in for two. 10 times here, this is three. Then you switch, this is four. Lower the head if you need to. Pick it back up when you can. Five more sets, four more sets, three more sets, stabilize your pelvis, two more sets. Keep your head lifted if it is, reaching into the straps. And then bend your knees in, head down, arms up. That's the single leg stretch. Now we do the double leg stretch. Head up, arms down, knees stay into your chest. Inhale, both legs extend. Exhale, both knees bend in. 10 times, inhale, extend. 
Exhale, bend in. Inhale for three. Exhale, bend in. Inhale for four. Exhale, bend in for five. And exhale for six. And exhale for seven. And exhale four more. And exhale two more. And exhale last one. And exhale and rest. I know I skipped a number there. It's okay. Take a breath. We're gonna do the double straight leg stretch. You're gonna curl the head up, press your arms down, and both legs extend to the ceiling. Both legs are gonna lower halfway and lift up 10 times here. Keep the head lifted, the stomach muscles pushing into those springs, creating nice, really good control. Inhale, lower four, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower five, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower six, exhale, lift. Four more, this is seven. Keep the head lifted. I mean, drop it if you need to, if you gotta rest the head, and then curl it back up when you've got that energy. One more, and then bend your knees in, rest your head back, take a breath. All right, release the handles into the well, and step off the carriage. We're going to do the long box, okay? So you're gonna grab your long box. You're going to place Place the box. Oh, drop your headrest. You gotta drop your headrest for this. Uh, actually, no. on the Graz Reformer, you'll keep your headrest up. I have to drop the headrest. So on the Graz Reformer, your long box is going to go in front of the shoulder blocks, just like that. That's not how my reformer works, but that's okay. All right, now you're going to be on one spring, and you're gonna grab the, ooh, put the handles back on the straps. I lied, put them on the straps, you're gonna want them. All right, you're going to get on the box on your stomach. This is really how we should really get onto it. You wanna stand on the frame of the reformer or the foot bar of the reformer, hands on the box, press it out until you're in a plank with your shoulders lined up with the front edge, and then lower yourself down. That's how you should really get onto it. Any way you get yourself on the box onto your stomach, you'll be fine. Now, as a tall man, you are gonna have your shoulders probably lined up almost with the opposite edge of the shoulder blocks. You don't want too much of your leg hanging off the back end here. All right, you're gonna reach up. You're gonna grab as high as you can on the leather straps, and then you're gonna slide, take the straps off the post, and you're gonna slide down until the carriage comes to the home position, so that when you're at home here, carriage is closed, your shoulders are gonna be quite a bit over the box. Your arms are gonna be lengthwise to the sides of the reformer, so that your, my fists are right about in line with um, where my eyes are. So like my eyes are kind of looking this way across the reformer. That's roughly about where my fists are, maybe, maybe the top of my head. Okay, my legs are long behind me. They're not drooping, they're engaged. Arms press down to the floor, back to the hips. You're gonna lift your chest as you reach your arms back, and then you're gonna reverse slowly. Don't let your legs go. Lower your chest slowly under control. Arms reach down to the floor. Back to the hips. Lift your chest. Lower the chest. Control the release of the carriage back home. On the grats reformer, your handles can either be hanging or you can loop them so that you have the handle and the leather in your hand. Either way is fine. And again, inhale. Lift your chest. Remember, those legs are lifted behind you. Upper back pulls the straps. Lower the chest. Arms come forward and down. Keep those legs working. We're going to do three more here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, and lift. And then exhale, and lower. Getting ready for the T position. You're gonna slide the hands down the loops so that you're right at the end of the leather straps. You can have the leather and your handles in the hand, or you can have your handles dangling. You're gonna keep the legs lifted, Arms are going to lift the height of the shoulders. Neck is long. Inhale, reach the arms wide to the sides of the room. Pull the sternum forward. Reach the arms back. Exhale, lower the chest. Arms reach wide. Inhale, lift your chest. Pull the sternum forward. Arms reach back. Exhale, lower the chest. Arms reach wide. Legs are reaching long behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Five times, we've got two more here. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. One more, inhaling to lift, and exhale to lower. And you're gonna put the handles into one hand. Step off the reformer. Now, we're gonna prepare
prepare for your teaser, okay? Stay on one spring. You're gonna separate the handles behind you. You're gonna sit on the box. You're on one spring. You're gonna have your hands on the box for support. Scoot your tushy forward to like the front third of the box. Bend your knees in towards your chest and take your arms to the sides of the hips and find your balance here. This should be very tough. You're gonna slowly lift the arms to the height maybe of the shoulders and then you're gonna slowly lower the arms just to the hips here. The legs, the knees can be bent. You wanna think about not letting the legs move though. Try to keep the legs where they are, really still. Arms are gonna lift and lower three times. One more time here. Find that balance on, this, on the tailbone, stomach muscles scoop in. Arms come down, take a breather break. In this position, as much as possible, you wanna think about your low back rounded. So you're kind of rocking back and rounding there. All right, again, knees lift. You're gonna rock right behind your tailbone and your sacrum. Arms start right at the height of the hips, right there. Try not to let those feet move. Slowly lift the arms up about the height of the shoulders and then slowly take them down three times here. Slowly lifting up for two and slowly lowering. Now we've got to control those springs. It's real, it's, you've got to control it, it's slow. Lifting one more time, lift and then lower and then take the feet forward, take a breath, take a moment. This is a balance exercise. It's supposed to be hard, okay? We got one more time here, take a breath. Again, knees in, arms start right at the sides of the hips. You can extend the legs, if that feels good, if it doesn't just keep your knees bent. Three times, arms lift behind the shoulders, arms lower down. Find that balance right behind the sacrum and the tailbone. Stomach muscles pull in, navel to spine. One more time as the arms come up, you're gonna pause here. I want you to really think, belly button scoops in even more, even more, even more. And then arms come down, feet rest forward, take a breath. Carefully step off, close the carriage and release the handles into the well. We're gonna do short box, okay? So short box, for a tall man, you're gonna to wanna to drop your headrest for short. The short box typically goes like right over the shoulder blocks. For a taller man, you're gonna take the box all the way so that it's right against the, so that the box, so that the shoulder blocks are on this end of the box versus over here. So you have the box pretty far over there. Now I'm gonna switch it because I'm not actually a tall man, but for a tall man, you're gonna have the box pushed all the way back as far as you can on the shoulder blocks. Let's start with our hold down. So you're gonna sit on the box. Ooh, add a spring. You want two springs when you do short box. It just helps keep the carriage still. Now, put your feet under the safety strap and you're gonna scoot back on the box until the tension on the strap is across the top of your foot and the back of your ankles is kind of into, pressing into the carriage a little bit here. If your knees are a little bit bent, that's a-okay. Cross the hands over your waist to begin. You're gonna start with a rounded position. Relax your shoulders and your neck. Feel the rounding happening in your low back. Roll back halfway, hold the position, and then draw the belly in even deeper to come forward again. As your feet are forward, keep them down on the carriage. Try not to have them pop up. You're gonna use the stomach muscles to round your spine as you come forward. Five times here, we'll go back, this is three. And scooping in with the tummy as you come forward. Two more times, rolling back for four. And then scooping to come forward. One more time, rolling back for five. And scooping to come forward. And we're gonna do flat back. So grab the bar, I don't have a bar. You're gonna grab your, your bar, you should, you should have it nearby somewhere. And you're gonna extend the arms up. Nice flat back position, lift the spine. Really straight spine, lift through the arms, lift through the spine, lift so you're not sinking back here. Get forward over the pelvis, hinge the spine back. Feel yourself getting really long and then lift to come back up. If you're a very tall man, then you really wanna be thinking long, long, really tall, as tall as you can be, and then we lift everything to come back up. The legs are part of it too. Keep your glutes active, reach for the heels, lift through the waist and the arms, reach for the bar, come all the way back up. Two more times, hinging back, nice tall spine as you hinge, and coming forward, nice tall spine as you go forward. One more time, nice tall spine as you reach back, and lifting to come forward. Rest the arms down, get ready for side to side, grab the bar, arms go up. 
side to side. You're gonna go directly laterally to the side. Side bend over, don't let your opposite hip lift, and then come up to center. Keep your shoulders down and your neck long. Side bend to the left, don't let your right hip lift, and come back up to center. Keep your legs active, your glutes on. Side bend to the right, feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Keep drawing navel to spine, and lift through center. Side bend to the left, and lift through center, and bar comes down. Twist and reach. Bar goes back up. Lift, reach, tall. We're a tall man. Twist to the right. We're getting very tall. We're reaching longer, 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 longer. And we're getting up very, very, very tall. We come through center. We lift and we twist. Long spine, long waist. Keep your shoulders down. The lift is in your waist. Side bend. Lifting long, long, long. Reaching in the waist and coming up. And untwist through center. Lift and reach as you twist to the right. Really find that twist, that stretch. Side bend, reach, hinge, and coming up. And lift as you twist to the left. Really feel that ringing motion as you twist. Hinge long, and lift to come up. One more time. Really twist and hinge, and lift one more time. Twist to the left, hinge, and up. Untwist, bar comes down. Put the bar underneath your legs. Um, let's go for the tree, not the tree, side setups, okay? so. Side sit-ups for a tall man. You want to make sure that when you do your side sit-ups, your hip is, your hips are pretty square on the box. This is where we're going to start you. Side bend over. Take your right hand into the well. If you can reach, if you can't reach, place a box or a block underneath your hand and find this position where your hips are really square. You want left hip right on top of left, right hip. You don't want to be twisted forward or twisted back. Nice and square, left leg is reaching long. Bottom knee is bent, top arm reaches. Lift, hover off the floor, hold it, it's hard, lower back down. Whew. Five times here, really lift, suspend, feel that left oblique working, and then lower back down. Three more times, lift, hold, suspend, we feel really good, and lower back down. Two more times, lift and hold, and lower back down, lift and hold, and come all the way back up. Okay, we're gonna to try to go from the top to the bottom. Take hands behind your head. Sit up really tall here. Now, my knees are kind of bent here. I don't have tension on that top strap. What's gonna happen? As I side bend away, that's where I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch the tension. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna use that strap to help pull me up. I'm gonna lose the tension on the strap, but I'm gonna to try to stay really lifted. This is harder when you're taller and have really long legs. You'll be fine though, just go slow. You lift, find the tension, work the tension, control as you release the tension. Find the tension, lifting up and over, and lifting to come back up. How many times? Two more times. Side bending up and over, and find that way to come up. One more time, side bending up and over. Feel that length of that left side, Do that work. Lift to come up. Okay, you're gonna take a twisted stretch towards the well. You're gonna twist towards the well. Your left hand comes to the near frame. Your right hand goes to the far frame. And you're feeling your chest twist towards the well of the carriage as you reach that top leg long. Try to square your shoulders down. Drop the chest here. Extend your arms as far forward as feels comfortable. Breathe into the left side of the back. And then carefully, gingerly, walk yourself back up and prepare for the other side. Okay, we go to the other side. We're gonna find our square position. Bottom knee is bent, top leg is long. You're gonna take left hand all the way into the well. You can prop it up on a box if you need to. Right arm extends to the ceiling. Top leg has a lot of tension on it. You're gonna lift and hover and lower back down five times here. Lift for two and lower. Lift for three and lower. Lift, feel that right side of the waist working so well. One more, lift and hold and then come all the way back up. Going top to bottom now, take hands behind your head. Now, there's no tension here, both my knees are bent. I'm gonna start hinging over and right here, I'm going to catch the tension, side bend over. I'm going to pull on that tension to lift. I lose the tension, but I keep my control. 
It's harder when you're taller, but you can make it, all right? Lift, find the tension and lower with control, and lengthen to lift to come back up. Three more times here, lift to go down, really feeling that right side of the waist, working so well. Two more, big stretch as you go over, and big work to come all the way back up. One more, side bending over, and lengthen to come all the way back up, and take a rest. Twist towards the well. Left hand to the far frame, right hand to the near frame. Square your shoulders down to the well. Walk your hands as far forward as they go. Drop the chest down, reach to the top leg. Take a breath into the right side of the rib cage. And then gingerly walk the hands back up. And you're gonna take your box away. Okay, box goes away. Place it to the side. Okay, now we're gonna do your long stretch. So, we're gonna do your long stretch. This is your push-up plank position. Lift the foot bar back up. You're back onto two springs. Um, let's go ahead and have headrest up. All right, for this, make sure the headrest is lifted as you take your short box off. And we're gonna get on the carriage in a plank position. You wanna take hands to the foot bar, feet to the crevice of the headrest, and lift yourself into your plank position. Now, in this position as a tall man, if you feel like you're really gonna dive over the foot bar, just press the carriage out a little bit so that your shoulders are right over the wrists, okay? You're gonna press the carriage out one piece, and then you're gonna close the carriage just till you feel comfortable or shoulders over the wrists, okay? Press the carriage out one piece, everything presses, and then close the carriage all the way back in. As you do this, really think about that navel pulling into your spine, shoulders connected to your back, the neck is long, it's, you can breathe however you want to breathe. I inhale to extend and exhale to close in. Let's do two more here, inhaling to extend and exhaling to close in. One more here, inhaling to extend and exhale as you close, you're gonna come up to elephant. As you come up to elephant, you're gonna have your feet flat on the carriage, right in front of the shoulder blocks, and you're in a rounded position, round your spine. Using just the feet, press the carriage out, and then pull the carriage in from your stomach muscles. Try not to move your shoulders, press the legs out, and pull the carriage in from your legs and your core. So the arms and the shoulders aren't moving, they're stabilizing. The shoulders are creating a frame with the foot bar. The lower body is moving. One more time, press out and pull in. Hold the carriage closed. Now, take your right leg, extend it behind you about the height of the hip. Left leg, press out. Pull in five times here. Press two and pull. Keep the hips as square as you can. Press three. Press four. Try to keep the weight in your hands as even as possible. Close all the way. And right foot down, left foot extends back, hip square, hands as weight as evenly as possible. On that right leg, five times, press out and in. Again, shoulders are not moving. This is coming from the hip and the stomach muscles. Three more. Two more. Exhale, pull the navel to the spine as you close. Last one, close all the way in. Step your left foot all the way down to the floor and step off, roll out your wrists, take a breath, take a break. Nice, okay. Um, we're gonna do the long back arm stretch, okay? So this is a big stretch for the shoulders, it's a lot of work. Um, be careful if your shoulders are really tight, okay? You're going to start by sitting on the foot bar. You're gonna have your hands on either side of the foot bar here. Of your, of your hips, fingers point in. You're gonna step the feet forward in front of the shoulder blocks. Hold the position, press through the arms here. Nice work in the shoulders and the tricep. Here, if you're feeling a big stretch across the chest, be careful your range of motion. You're gonna bend your elbows down slowly, just maybe halfway, press the carriage out, lift the hips up, and close the carriage in. Bend your elbows down slowly, press the carriage out, Lift the hips up, close it back in. One more time, 
you bend, press, lift, and you close. Now you're gonna go two more times actually. Bend, press the hips out, lift, and close. One more time, bend, press, lift, close all the way in, step off, and roll out your wrists again. Take a moment, come to kneeling on the carriage for your kneeling front split. Hands on the foot bar. Your right foot is gonna come up onto the foot bar in front of you, about as wide as your hip. Hands grab the foot bar on either side of that foot, pressing the pelvis forward, trying to get that stretch in that front left thigh. Taking a breath here, you're gonna press the carriage out, getting a big stretch to the front of the left thigh, and then you're gonna close the carriage in. We're gonna do it three times, pressing out, and closing in. One more, pressing out, and closing in, and then you're gonna switch your legs, right leg down, okay, foot to the shoulder block, left foot comes up onto the foot bar, about in line with the hip, hands on either side of the foot on the foot bar in front of you, get that big stretch of the right hip, press the carriage out, and then close the carriage in. As you press the carriage out, think of that right hip pressing down. So it's not necessarily that front leg straightening. You want to get that stretch in the front of the right thigh. As you press out one more time, it's almost as if I'm sending my thigh towards the carriage here. And then as you close, step the left foot down to the shoulder block again. We're going to do knee stretches. Hands on the foot bar, shoulder width apart, heels against the shoulder blocks, round your spine, keep your shoulders here, Press the carriage out and in 10 times from this position. Keep the spine rounded. Don't let your shoulders move. So I'm not pressing the carriage out and in from my shoulders. My arms and my shoulders are creating a frame with the foot bar that is not moving. Two more. And then close the carriage. Now you're going to press into your hands and your feet. You're going to lift your knees to hover off the carriage. Repeat. Press the carriage out and in 10 times here. So it's the same position, but now your knees are hovering. We're going to go for 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep your shoulders down. Two more. Last one. Close the carriage all the way in. Drop your knees down. Step off the carriage. All right. We're going to do running and pelvic lift, and they'll be done. Add all your springs back in. So we want four springs in. And then headrest should be up. You're going to lie down. Let's have toes in, toes in parallel position, just like one inch, very close to each other. You're going to press the carriage out, drop one heel, and then the other. So one heel drops, one heel lifts, and as you're here, we're going to do 10 times, nice and swift, and a switch, 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 and switch, switch, go for five, switch, and a four, and a switch, and a three, switch, keep those feet moving, one more, and then lift both heels up, close the carriage. Take your arches to the corners of the foot bar for pelvic lift, curl your hips up, hold the carriage closed. You're slightly externally rotated, just the pelvis is off the mat. You're gonna press the carriage out, keep those hips lifted, close the carriage in, use your tushy to pull the carriage all the way in. Press the carriage out, feel the stretch in the tops of the thighs, close the carriage, use your powerhouse, pull it all the way in, make sure you close all the way. The last inch is the most important one. This is three, press out for four, pulling in the close, press out for five, Pulling it, do it 10 times. Press out for six, and close. Press out for seven, and close. All the way each time, press out for eight, and extend for nine. One more on the 10th one, as you close the carriage, hold it closed. Hips go down an inch and up an inch for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Take the hips down. Now we're going to repeat with the legs together. 
bring your legs together, arches still in the foot bar. You're gonna curl the hips up just halfway, just a couple inches. Now, press the carriage out, don't straighten your legs. Just go like three quarters of the way out and then close it all the way in. So you just don't wanna straighten the knees all the way. Extend and then close all the way. We'll do 10 times here. Squeeze the knees together, press for three and close it all the way in, feel your glutes engaged. Press for four and in, press for five and close. Keep navel pull into your spine, always, always. This is six. Tension on your neck and your shoulders. Seven and eight and nine and ten. Close the carriage all the way. Pulse the hips down an inch and up an inch for ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four, three, two, and one, hips all the way down. Bend your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug. Good, and you're all done. That was great, feel good, hope you feel good.